Lords, ladies, and gentlemen, may we introduce to you two unique portraits by Rembrandt, Martin and Opian. Martin and Opian will be living here at the Rijksmuseum, but not the whole year, as they also have a house in France. Le Musée du Louvre. Oui, that's French. Time frame. It's 1634, and the Netherlands is waging war against the King of Spain. The war, which would last 80 years, drives large numbers of refugees from France and Flanders to the Netherlands, which subsequently becomes the most prosperous country in the world. And the wealthiest people all live in Amsterdam. And what do wealthy people do? They don't take selfies, no, they commission a portrait, preferably by Rembrandt. Wow! The most celebrated painter of the time. Enter Martin and Opian, both in their 20s and ridiculously wealthy. Obviously, they want their wedding portrait to be bigger, more beautiful, and more impressive than anyone else's. The art of painting, crash course. Common people must only be partly visible, while kings, emperors, and other dignitaries may be depicted in all their glory. Okay, but this is Rembrandt we're talking about, and he has a mind of his own. He decides to paint Martin Ope as true royalty. And just look at those outfits. Martin is wearing ribbed black silk, while Opian is in black silk with flounces. Even back then, Paris dictated the popular fashion styles. Opian has complimented her outfit with pearls and gold and diamond jewelry. And just look at those shoes. One, Opian seems to have a bit of a belly. That's because she's pregnant. Two, Opian is also carrying something else, a dowry of 35,000 guilders, the equivalent of nearly a million euros. Martin and Opian are true masterpieces, astonishingly beautiful portraits. And for that reason, they'll be hung right next to the Night Watch. Martin and Opian, the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West of the Golden Age, they are the Golden Age. If you wish to see these two masterpieces with your own eyes, they're on display at the Rijksmuseum as of today.